Despite being an honorary Harrison today, did you know that there was a time when Rick told Corey to stay away from his best buddy? There's a lot about Austin Russell, better known as Chun Lee, that fans are just finding out about now. And not all of it is pretty. After rising to fame as the lovable village idiot of Pawn Stars, gaining notoriety for a horde of crimes in 2016 and raising controversy, fans are wondering, what's Chumley up to today? That's what we're here for, giving you the scoop on what happened to the reality star and where he is right now. Stick around, you won't believe the things we tell you in this video. Rick Harrison hated Chumley. It almost sounds made up, doesn't it? While Rick's always been shown to be hard on Chumley, it's not like he's a ray of sunshine overall. If anything, fans believe he was treating Chumley like he did Corey, his son. So if Rick was being hard on him, it was only because he knew the guy was capable of doing better. While that might have been the case when Pawn Stars aired on History Channel in 2009, it wasn't always that way. So Chumley and Corey Harrison met when Corey was in fifth grade and Chumley was in sixth. No, they didn't get off on the right foot or right rollerblade in that case. Growing up in Henderson, Nevada, and going to the same high school, both guys knew each other, but never really interacted until one fateful day. Well, right. believe it or not, Corey's a, a grade under me, so a couple years younger than me. We met through a fight. We got in a fight. He was, oh, wow. my sister claimed he was picking on her. Come to find out he was picking on a neighbor. We got in a little scuffle, nothing crazy. Now, Corey would have you believe that Chumley's sister told on him to her older brother, claiming he had been picking on her. Chumley put on the big brother pants, hid in the bathroom near the park, saw Corey rolling around in his rollerblades, and pushed him down the grassy hill. We actually got into a fist fight because uh, the day before he um, tackled me from behind and threw me down a big steep hill while I was on a pair of roller. Chum Lee, on the other hand, claims that yes, he did push Corey down that hill. However, it wasn't a case of mistaken identity. He knew exactly who Corey was. And no, it wasn't that he thought he'd been picking on his little sister. He said that he was just doing what kids their age normally do. So he did push Corey, but it wasn't because he was vengeful. He was just being playful. Obviously, this riled up Corey. And the next day, he and another buddy of his went out looking for Chumley. When they found him, Corey and Chumley got into a fist fight. Two weeks later, when they met again, they actually laughed about it. And that's pretty much how one of the greatest friendships in reality television history started. So Chumley grew up near poverty while Corey was in the line to become a third generation pawnbroker. The two would hang out at the famous gold and silver pawn shop together, doing what kids would do. Rick liked lovable goofball enough to eventually let Corey move in with him and Reno. The two went there to look for work, get an apartment together, and kickstart a new life. We now know that things didn't work out in Reno, and they ended up moving back to Nevada. When they moved, they immediately signed the lease on an apartment together, took up work in fast food, and started living their lives, which revolved heavily around drugs. Now the two of them have been very open about their addiction and struggles, but at the time, they kept it hidden from their families for obvious reasons. Corey admitted that things got so bad at one point that his dad had to intervene. When he saw the state of the two were living in, he thought that the best way to keep his son from falling back into his hole was to ban him from ever seeing Chumley again. For a time, the Harrisons weren't all that fond of Chumley. However, Rick and old man Harris eased up after realizing that he needed help too. They got the two back home, cleaned them up, and gave them all the help they needed. Along with that, Rick also offered Chumley a chance to work with the family at the Gold and Silver Pawn Shop. Initially, this was supposed to be just an internship, and Chumley was almost fired from that. He started working with Corey and the crew, but was mostly just there for heavy lifting. Rick and the old man knew a thing or two about Pawnbroke, and Corey was in line to take over, so he knew a few things too. Chumley, at least the one back then, didn't know as much and was just there to carry out inventory. So one day, and this is before the camera started rolling, someone came in to pawn a stand-up base for $700. The Harrisons agreed, set up a redemption time, and told Chumley to put it in the back. Corey recalls the incident saying that Chumley leaned it up all flimsy along the wall and it fell and broke into a million pieces. What does Chumley do now? Well, he just broke a super rare antique. He slaps a sticker on it and puts it in the box regardless. When the man eventually came back to redeem his stand-up base, he saw that it had been shattered. What was supposed to be $700 ended up costing the Harrisons $20,000. Yep, there's a pretty lucrative market for these things. You can see now why Rick often calls him the village idiot, right? Chumley's rise to fame has to be studied. That's how iconic it is. Did you know that in German, Pawn Stars is called the Three of Pawn? That's because you think that the show revolved around the Harrisons. And while that somewhat is true, it's not the whole truth. The show started out with Rick running around production houses, trying to get someone to sign off on a niche reality series, finding the History Channel, and cutting a deal with them. Eventually, it turned out that fans loved Chumley. 
more than any of the Harrisons. When the History Channel saw the guy provided some much needed comedic relief to the series and his friendship with Corey and the rest of the crew was seen as wholesome and sweet, they bumped him up to the main cast. Fans got to see Chum Lee go from being a goofball who was only there for entertainment purposes to someone who actually knew his stuff. We got to see a whole other side of him in the episode Pinball Wizard, when the Harrisons were thrown for a loop and Chum Lee was the one who stepped up, appraised the pinball machine, and saved the day. Since then, he has moved up to the front of the gold and silver pawn shop. He became an even bigger figure in the store when the old man passed away and Chum Lee became one of the three in the Three of Pawn. Did you know that he started a very, very successful merchandising company, which Rick acquired half of, for almost $100,000? That's right, every main cast member of the show has their own merch, but Chumley's merch is the one that actually sells out. Rick, ever the businessman, bought half of Chumley's company to have it sold at the front of the gold and silver pawn shop. Also, yes, the store still doubles as an actual pawn shop, but for privacy reasons, the cast of Pawn Stars can't do any off-camera pawning now. So, things were going well for Chumley until 2016. That was the year when one day, everyone woke up to some shocking headlines. Austin Lee Russell was arrested. It started off with sexual assault allegations by an ex-girlfriend, which prompted a police raid on the guy's residence. While police didn't find anything connecting him to the assault, they found a whole lot more to convict him with. Remember how we started by talking about Chum Lee beating his addictions? It came back once the guy rose to superstardom, and it came back hard. Police found several illegal drugs and unregistered firearms at Chum Lee's residence. They also found, allegedly, a secret downstairs room. What was behind that room? It's open to interpretation online, and people have some wild guesses. Anyways, nothing really happened in the sexual assault case with Corey voicing his support for his buddy online, insinuating that Chum Lee's ex was just out to get money out of him. Then, what about the drugs and weapons? Rick also voiced his support for Chumley online, claiming that the Harrisons were standing by his side all throughout. Chumley must have had a pretty great legal team because while he was looking to pay a hefty fine and serve several years behind bars, he was given a slap on the wrist. No, really, the reality star got away with only serving three years of probation, and that was pretty much it. This honestly enraged some fans. More so when Pawn Stars actually had him back on their next season despite having fired another cast member, Olivia Black, for having a raunchy career history. Was this fair? Some people didn't think so. What about you? Chum Lee managed to stay out of trouble for three years, was still on television, and everything seemed to be going well for him. By the way, Pawn Stars is still airing on TV, albeit with a different format. So all that brings us to today. And now to the question everyone's had on their minds for a long, long time. Where is the reality star today? You're in for quite the surprise. Did he ever get into trouble again? Right off the bat, no. And we couldn't be happier about that. Chumley's social media went dark for a period in 2017 amid all the allegations and hate he'd been receiving online. But he quickly went back to regular posting. He's most active on Instagram, where he has over 800,000 followers. Of all the cast members on Pawn Stars, Chumley has the most notable social media presence. So if you want an inside look into how the guys are doing, Chumley's Instagram is the place to go. He regularly updates his social media with new information about the show, pulls pranks on Rick, we love those, and also posts images of his collectibles. He's a pawn broker at the end of the day. More than that, however, he's followed Rick's footsteps in expanding his business empire. Besides the merchandise line, he also owns a pretty famous candy shop in Nevada, Chum's Candy. There you can find a selection of current and nostalgic treats, along with a line of Chum Lee's own creation, Candy Jerky. To say that he's been doing well since his arrest would be an understatement. He's doing better than he's ever been. He got bariatric surgery while he was on the show, along with Corey, and it looks like he's been able to keep the weight off too. Chum Lee was also part of Pawn Stars Do America, a new format History Channel had been toying with, which saw the pawnbrokers pawning outside of their familiar set location. He hasn't dated anyone since him and his ex-wife, Olivia Rodman, broke up in 2020. At least that's when we think the two of them called it quits. The pair were engaged in 2018 with Olivia showcasing a giant rock as the two vacationed in Hawaii. She was even with Chum Lee through all his legal troubles. Eventually, they stopped posting one another on their Instagram accounts, but still followed each other. Next came the dreaded step of deleting all their pictures together, and it looks like they've unfollowed one another now. So for any of you hopefuls out there, Chum Lee might be single? Well, that's pretty much everything that's been going on in this reality star's life these days. He's mainstayed a controversy-free lifestyle since 2016, doing his own thing, and making money while he's at it. You know, the Chum Lee we all came to love back when he saw him in 2009. 